Iproniazid, marsilid, ribil, euphazid, iprazid, ipronid, ipronin, is a non-selective, irreversible monoamine oxidase inhibitor MAUI, of the hydrazine class. It is a xenobiotic that was originally designed to treat tuberculosis, but was later most prominently used as an antidepressant drug. However, it was withdrawn from the market because of its hepatotoxicity. The medical use of Ipronizid was discontinued in most of the world in the 1960s, but remained in use in France until fairly recently. History Ipronizid was originally developed for the treatment of tuberculosis, but in 1952, its antidepressant properties were discovered when researchers noted that patients became inappropriately happy when given isoniazid, a structural analog of Ipronizid. Subsequently N-isopropyl addition led to development as an antidepressant and was approved for use in 1958. It was withdrawn in most of the world a few years later in 1961 due to a high incidence of hepatitis, and was replaced by less hepatotoxic drugs such as phenylzine and isocarboxazid. Canada surprisingly withdrew ipronizid in July 1964 due to interactions with food products containing tyrosine. Nevertheless, Ipronizid has historic value as it helped establish the relationship between psychiatric disorders and the metabolism of neurotransmitters. Although Ipronizid was one of the first antidepressants ever marketed, amphetamine, marketed as Benzedrine from 1935, for mild depression, amid other indications, predates it, and frankincense has been marketed traditionally for millennia for, among other things, altering mood, although it was not until 2012 that one of the components of its smoke was found to have antidepressant effects in mice. Structure and reactivity The structure of ipronizid is chemically, in both structure and reactivity, similar to isoniazid. Ipronizid is a substituted hydrazine of which the isopropyl hydrazine moiety is essential for the inhibition of monoamine oxidase activity. Synthesis There are multiple routes to synthesize ipronizid. The most common precursor is methyl isonocodonate which forms isonocatinohydrazide when it reacts with hydrazine. Isonocatinohydrazide can be converted into ipronizid via different pathways. One synthesis pathway involves acme which results in the formation of an propan 2 ulidine isonocatinohydrazide. Subsequently, the C equals N linkage is selectively hydrogenated in the presence of a platinum catalyst and with water, alcohol or acetic acid as solvent. In another pathway isonocatinohydrazide reacts with either 2-bromopropane or 2-chloropropane in an N-isopropyl addition reaction to the hydrazine moiety. This directly results in the formation of ipronizid. Reactions and mechanism of action Ipronizid is a known monoamine oxidase inhibitor. It inhibits the activity of monoamine oxidases MAUs, by itself and through an active metabolite, isopropylhydrazine. The formation of isopropylhydrazine from ipronizid has been observed without MAUs present. Both ipronizid and isopropylhydrazine react near the active site of MAUs. The reaction is a progressive first-order reaction with a high activation energy. In the presence of oxygen it is an irreversible reaction, as dehydrogenation of ipronizid at the active site of the enzyme takes place. This dehydrogenation resembles the first step of amine oxidation. After dehydrogenation ipronizid further reacts with the enzyme, inhibition of MAUs by ipronizid is competitive and sensitive to changes in pH and temperature, similar to oxidation of the monoamine substrate. Inhibition cannot be reversed by addition of the substrate. Ipronizid is able to displace non-hydrazine inhibitors, but not other hydrazine inhibitors from the active site of the enzyme. To increase the inhibition of monoamine oxidase, cyanide can be used. The reaction however remains oxygen-dependent. MAO inhibition can be decreased by addition of glutathione, suggesting non-enzymatic conjugation of either ipronizid or isopropylhydrazine with glutathione. Metabolism and toxicity Ipronizid is metabolized in the body. Ipronizid is converted to isopropylhydrazine and isonicotinic acid in an initial hydrolysis reaction. Isopropyl hydrazine can either be released in the blood or it can be metabolically activated by microsomal 450 Cypriot pounds enzymes. 
This oxidation of isopropyl hydrazine is a toxification reaction that eventually can lead to the formation of an alkylating agent, the isopropyl radical. Hepatic necrosis was found in rats with doses as low as 10 mg per kilogram. Isopropyl radical the presence of the isopropyl radical was indicated by another observed product of the metabolism of ipronizid, the gas propane. Alkylating agents have the capability to bind to chemical groups such as amino, phosphate hydroxyl, imidazole, and sulfhydryl groups. The formed isopropyl radical is able to form S isopropyl conjugates in vitro. This diminishes covalent binding to other proteins, however, it was only observed in vitro. In vivo, hepatotoxic doses of isopropyl hydrazine, the precursor of the isopropyl radical, did not deplete sulfhydryl group containing compounds. Liver necrosis The isopropyl radical formed as a result of the metabolism of ipronizid, is able to covalently bind to proteins and other macromolecules in the liver. These interactions are the reason for the hepatotoxicity of ipronizid. Covalent binding results in liver necrosis by presumably changing protein function leading to organelle stress and acute toxicity. However, the exact mechanism of how the binding of ipronizid derivatives to liver proteins would induce liver necrosis remains unclear. Cytochrome P450 enzymes are present at the highest concentrations in the liver, causing most alkylating agents to be produced in the liver. This explains why the liver is mostly damaged by covalent binding of alkylating agents such as the isopropyl radical. Rat models and other animal models have shown that cytochrome P450 enzymes convert isopropyl hydrazine to alkylating compounds that induce liver necrosis. An inducer of a class of hepatic microsomal cytochrome P450 enzymes, phenobarbital, highly increased the chance of necrosis. In contrast, the compounds cobalt chloride, piperinyl butoxide and alpha naphthalosothiocyanate inhibit microsomal enzymes which resulted in a decreased chance of necrosis due to isopropyl hydrazine. Metabolism to other forms Ipronizid can also be metabolized by odilkylation from ipronizid to acetone and isoniazid. Isoniazid can undergo further metabolism via multiple metabolic pathways, of which one eventually results in alkylating agents as well. This toxifying metabolic pathway includes N-acetylation. Reactions involving acetylation are influenced by genetic variants, the acetylator phenotype. The toxicological response to isoniazid, and thus ipronizid, can therefore be subjected to interindividual differences. Acetone can also be produced in alternative pathway as a metabolite of isopropyl hydrazine. It is eventually converted to CO2 and exhaled. Isonicotinic acid Isonicotinic acid, formed during the hydrolysis of ipronizid, is described as a moderately toxic compound and allergen with cumulative effects. Isonicotinic acid is further metabolized by glycine conjugation or glucuronic acid conjugation. Other toxic effects Ipronizid can also interact with tyrosine-containing food products which may have toxic effects. Excretion Excretion can occur via different routes, via the lungs, the urine, bile and sometimes via the skin or breast milk. Ipronizid has a molecular weight of 179.219 g per mole, which is far below 500 g per mole, and it is hydrophilic because of e.g. the NH groups in the molecule. These two properties together indicate that ipronizid is likely to be excreted in the urine via the kidneys. Ipronizid can also be metabolized and excreted afterwards in the form of one of its metabolites which can be found in the figure above. Isoniazid is hydrophilic and has a molecular weight of 137.139 grams per mole. Isoniazid is therefore expected to be excreted via the urine, if it is not further metabolized in the body. The same holds for isonicotinic acid and isonicotinoyl glycine. Carbon dioxide and propane are gaseous which are presumably transported out of the body by exhalation via the lungs. Indication 
Ipronizid was originally produced as anti-tuberculosis medicine, but found to be more effective as antidepressant. When it was discovered that ipronizid is hepatotoxic, it was replaced by medicinal xenobiotics that are less harmful to the liver. Examples of antidepressant drugs that are nowadays used instead of ipronizid are isocarboxazid, phenylzine, and tranylcypramine. Drugs more effective for treatment of tuberculosis are isoniazid, pyrazinamide, athambutol and rifampicin. Efficacy and side effects Efficacy Ipronizid was designed to treat tuberculosis, but its most significant positive effect is that it has a mood-stimulating property. Therefore, it was used as an antidepressant drug. Adverse effects The most significant adverse effects of using ipronizid is the hepatotoxicity caused by its metabolites. Moreover, usage of ipronizid results in several adverse effects such as dizziness when lying down, drowsiness, headaches, ataxia, numbness of the feet and hands, and muscular twitching. However, these adverse effects disappear after approximately 10 weeks. Effects on animals Rat animal models have been used to investigate the hepatotoxic, bio, chemical mechanism of ipronizid. A metabolite of ipronizid, isopropyl hydrazine, was found to be a potent hepatotoxin in rats. Hepatic necrosis was found in rats with doses as low as 10 mg per kilogram. It was predicted with Admetzer that ipronizid had a LD50 of 2.6600 moles per kilogram in rats. Lethality See the table for experimentally determined LD50, TDLO and LDLO values of various organisms. Credit goes to lookchum.com slash ipronizid slash. See also. Hydrazine, antidepressant. Isoniazid. References. <references>